What's up guys, my name is Alan, I'm a Wix developer and in today's video I'm going to teach you guys how to create a stunning contact form for your users. That's right, within Wix.com I'm going to teach you guys how to create your very own contact form. Get information like their user's first name, last name, email, phone number, and pretty much anything you want to gather. And then from there, we're going to, I'm going to teach you guys how to actually create it in a stunning visual way. So without further delay, let's go ahead and get started. In today's example, you'll notice that I have a beautiful contact form here. So we have an image on the left and we have a contact form on the right. So let's go ahead and get started and learn exactly how I was able to create this contact form. And if you follow this video, then you can create the exact same form for your website. And at any point, if you want to hire me personally to work on your project, consider reaching out. I'm available via Wix.com Marketplace under Alan Bajo. So without further delay, let's go ahead and get started. First, you obviously need a Wix website. So go to Wix.com, select your website, click on edit site and get into the Wix editor. For today's example, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and create a brand new page. Most likely for you guys who are watching this video, just select the contact form, the page. It may just be called contact us, but whatever page that the Wix contact form is on, that's basically the page we're going to work in. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and click on pages. In this case, I'm just going to create a blank page for you guys just so that we can look at this example. This page I'm going to call example. So to create an interactive form, what I usually like to do is I like to do the following. I like to click on pages. I like to click on the three little dots here. I like to click on settings and I like to go under layouts. For the contact form, I actually like to have no header and no footer so that when users are visiting the website for the very first time on the contact form, we really just want them to focus on the contact form and nothing else. So basically what I want to do with this blank canvas is I want to go ahead and click on the following. I want to make this really, really interactive. So what I'm going to do is first get the contact form into our website. So let's click on the little plus button. Let's go ahead and click on contact and forms. And the contact form that I like to use is actually this one down here under application forms. We're just going to go ahead and grab this and drag it right into our editor. Again, you may already have a contact form. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to either modify your form, but in this example, we're using this form here. So what we're going to do is the following. I'm also going to go ahead and go back to the add element feature at the top left hand corner, click on image. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a random image that's going to fit my brand or business. So let's go ahead and go into here, upload images. We're also now going to go ahead and just simply exit this little toggle here. On the left hand side, I'm going to click on unsplash. And I'm just going to type in anything such as meeting. And we're going to go ahead and just select this image right here. I'm going to click add to page. It doesn't matter which image you add. Basically what I'd like to do in my example, as I was mentioning before. So if we click here and check out the live example. So this live example is of Maloon Financial out in Dubai. And what we're going to be doing here is we're going to go ahead and select their contact form. And you'll notice that their contact form has a sticky image on the left. And on the right hand side, again, it's just the contact form. So let's see how we can replicate this design. Within our example, what we need to do to replicate this is the following. You need to go ahead and click on the image itself, click on settings, scroll down to the bottom here, and it says keep proportions. We're going to turn this off just temporarily, and we're going to go ahead and try to make this um, contact form 50-50 on the screen. So we're going to pin this right here. We're going to stretch this out all the way to the top. We're going to stretch this way all the way to the bottom. Now it looks kind of distorted, so we're going to go ahead and enable this one more time here. And we're going to right click this and select pin to screen. So we're going to click pin to screen and we're going to pin it right to the left side and just make sure that it just goes to zero for the horizontal offset so that we have an image here that's pinned to the left side, meaning that anything on the right hand side will basically scroll down. And we'll basically, we basically recreated this little effect here that you see here. So hopefully that um, uh, you've gone this far. Let's go ahead now and actually start working on creating tags, adding tags, and then obviously adding our contact form. So let's go ahead and do this together. Now, again, if at any point you would like to work with me specifically, definitely consider reaching out. I'm available via the Wix.com marketplace. So here's our contact form. The first thing I like to do with our contact form is understand, uh, is help you understand that every single thing is clickable. All right, so every single field is clickable, and then each field has its unique settings. So, for example, under Edit Field, the field title currently says Link to CV. I could call this anything. I could call this, um, you know, um, what's your favorite pet? 
So based on the questions you'd like to ask the user and get from the user, we're going to basically select one of these fields, click on edit, and either name them appropriately or not name them at all. Or in this case, what you can do is the following. You can also click on this option. So when you click on a field, you get your unique options. But when you click on the box, you also get your unique options. So in this case, I have an option here that says add new field. From here, this is really awesome because I get to go ask other questions such as phone number. I have options such as multi-address field that automatically fill out addresses. I have birthday. Now, if some of your fields are unique, you can go on the left-hand side under basic fields and go ahead and actually click on short field, which will then just be a blank field right here, which then you can go ahead and click on edit field and give it, you know, whatever you like. What's your cat's name? And then that way, you can go ahead and allow the user to uh, fill out questions that you're asking specifically. So custom fields are very important because they're going to be new, unique to your brand. So adding a new field is probably going to be your best friend. And depending on um, how many fields you want to add will determine the type of questions you're going to ask the user. So in our case, we're filling out first name, last name, email, phone. And then we also have a little bit of a question error here. So this is called a multi checkbox. And the way we've done that is under uh, basic fields. You'll notice that there's a checkbox field and there's also a multi checkbox field. If I decide to uh, add it, they give us some examples such as, you know, um, <laughs> if you click on manage choices, you'll see olives, mushrooms, pineapples, extra cheese. You could call this, you know, option one and you can rename these option two. Now these are bolded by default, so you want to right click, you want to click on this and uncheck by default. Some of y'all might actually just want um, your options to be selected by default. In this case, we're just going to uncheck them and you can just right click this, copy and paste and you can continue adding multiple choices um, to basically create a contact form. So one of the things uh, we can also build out here is the following. We can go ahead and on the left hand side, click on add element hover over text and let's go ahead and add some text here. So we'll double click this text and instead of 60 font, maybe we'll make it 30. And as you can see with this example, it says comprehensive support. So we'll just right click this copy and you can rename this title to say anything. In this case, you could also put it as contact us. What I usually like to do to build interactive forms is I really like to go ahead and try to help the user go from point A to point B. So in this case, I could go ahead and click on add element, add a description, and go ahead and simply double click the description, make a 16 font, and, and basically start writing some good content to kind of introduce the users as, hey, uh, we're looking for your name, or hey, we're looking for, you know, your, uh, some information about your account. So with a few and a little bit of creativity, uh, you can really go ahead and create an interactive form that really speaks for your to your brand, to your business. Um, the trick is to obviously just pin the element to the left. Again, this image, we right click and we simply click on pin, pin it to the left. And we have a contact form here that we then simply go ahead and ask uh, whatever type of questions we want. Now, if you are running into issues where the form doesn't really scroll down more, you want to scroll down to the bottom and there's going to be a little blue uh, purple indicator here. Just start scrolling down with this so it gives you much more room, okay? So just to give you a rough idea, on the top right hand corner, if we click on preview, one, two, three, you can start realizing that as you scroll down, we've already started creating this feel. Now, what's really interesting is the following. If we go back to settings, majority of you are going to work on the creative aspect of it, but working within this form is really interesting. So we can grab this form here. Instead of apply, every single thing we click has a toggle that appears. In this case, we're going to click on this little toggle, click on settings, and instead of apply, we could say contact or submit your request. Basically, it's really going to come down to your creativity. In this example here, we really took the time to add some images, more text, more descriptions, a little bit of a button here, more text. As you scroll down, then we introduce the contact form. So it really is going to come down with working with a professional who can really help you and a designer who's going to build this out for you in an interactive way. But interactive forms are very much possible. Uh, interactive Wix contact forms are also possible. It's just a matter of how much time you want to really put into creating this form. Obviously, you see your own 
contact form and it probably doesn't look like this uh, but this is again an example of with just a little bit of effort with just a little bit of creativity how you can create your very own interactive contact form I recommend really trying to look at all the settings here in this form but you really can't go wrong uh, it's very simple and I really hope that this video has given you some insights about how to properly create a form that's really speaking into what web development is really going into what web design is going into in 2024 which is again interactive forms interactive contact forms uh, again using the Wix platform so hope this video has given you some inspiration about how to properly create a form if you need any help definitely consider reaching out. I am available for hire on the Wix.com marketplace. Hope you guys had a great time watching.